You know what's one essential service no one's really talking about? Balance. In 2020, the concept of an essential business has kind of come out, which basically means some businesses absolutely need to function no matter what else is going on. No matter the risks, there's some that deserve to function, while others are kind of frivolous and they don't really matter, and or at least they don't matter that much during something like, say, a pandemic and they can just be shut down and that's fine. And while when it comes to the economy, this concept is kind of new, on a personal level, I've found this to be kind of around there for a long time, where some people will say, well, you need good food to eat, you need a roof over your head, you need to be able to travel to work, these kinds of things. But then other things are frivolous, they're non-essential, like entertainment, no, I, we, that doesn't even matter. And there were, of course, arguments like that on the economic side during the great shutdowns where sports and entertainment and other things like that were not online and there was companies like the ufc who were still holding on live sporting events and they were being lambasted for doing frivolous things during the midst of a pandemic that's killing everybody and really what's non-essential is essential let me start from the economic point of view everything feeds back into the economy there is nothing you can do without a ripple effect throughout everything else and there's significant swaths of our global economy that are dedicated towards things that don't really matter according to you know whoever wants to say that at the time but don't forget that they can have a lot of impact on the whole rest of the economy well let's just say you're in the entertainment industry for example and that's kind of a non-essential thing to be doing uh, however what happens if first off you lose your job well all that money you would be making to then feed yourself and your family and things like that you don't have so all those essential services you would have been paying for you can't because you don't have money you can't buy food you can't pay rent you can't pay for transportation you can't do any of that stuff at the same time you still have to try to make a living so now you get crammed into another industry let's say one of the trades and in doing that, now you introduce less scarcity into that labor market. There's more people vying for those positions. They might be able to not pay as well because there's too many people trying to do that. And then a bunch of other people who are in an essential service now all of a sudden get paid less. And some people might not be able to afford to feed their families. And there might be further ripple effects, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Also, don't forget the effects on productivity. People who are happier, more healthy, more well-balanced, et cetera, et cetera, will all become more productive workers, generally speaking. And not being as happy, healthy, etc., can definitely cause ripple effects on the more essential parts of the ecosystem, as it were, phrased. So every business is essential just because it's a business, because it's part of the economy. And if you disrupt one thing, everything can go off. But let's not forget on the personal level either. I think that a lot of people sort of underestimated how vulnerable they were to losing very small, kind of non-essential, meaningless things in their lives. Uh, just for example, physical contact, hanging around other people in person, things like that have really affected a lot of people's mental health for the worse. And, you know, there's been a lot of bad things that have happened. You know, according to conventional wisdom, all you really need to be healthy is you have to have enough food, enough water, you have to have a place to sleep, you have to actually get that sleep. You have to not have anything really too wrong with you. And you have to not be horribly out of shape. So as long as you have those things, you should be fine, right? Those are essential. You're doing well. Well, I think a lot of us have learned the hard way that we're a little more fragile as human beings than we'd like to admit. That a lot of things we just sort of did on autopilot were actually necessary maintenance for our psyche and our physical health as well. Just like moving locations from where you work. If you're working from home all the time, just working from somewhere else could have a massive impact on not just your work productivity, but also your health and well-being. Just having a fun little treat, whether it's a food or drink or something like that, or if it's a fun entertainment thing, that has a huge effect. Just getting out of the house, breathing in the air, just going and working out, doing whatever thing you might do, has a huge impact on the whole rest of you. And so if you've been feeling miserable this year, there's probably a thousand small, seemingly inconsequential reasons for that. We are a living, breathing ecosystem. Every little thing makes a big difference. And so don't forget to take care of those non-essential activities. As small and as trivial as they might seem, they could actually be really huge for your health and well-being. Don't be ashamed to prioritize seemingly dumb things like 
binge watching a show you like or going out on dates or you know going out on a bike ride or you just I want to go out and meet with some people I know and have a couple of drinks in physical close proximity you know once or twice a month and don't feel ashamed to just want those things that really have a big impact on your health and well-being for the rest of your life because we all die at some point we're all going to be gone might as well live happy and healthy while we can and not really make any apologies to others for you know our decisions as long as we aren't catastrophically hurting other people and the same thing goes for the economy the economy needs to be healthy we need to let it basically uh, take care of its own needs and do what it can do and there is no such thing as a completely non-essential business so live free or die we're gonna die might as well live free before that